Kukuyenyo! Hello kayo mga iniirog! So today, we're gonna talk about something exciting and syempre, nakakaiba? Hindi naman! <laughs> Sinagot yung sarili! Pero, we're gonna talk about something Emerald 48 related again and hmm, I think it's gonna be a big help for those who want to become an idol like us. So, just keep on watching! So today we're gonna talk about audition tips because I'm very very sure na madaming mga bagong fan ng MNL48 and napansin ko na super super dumadami ang mga girl fans ng MNL48 and it's so nice to know that. So I'm sure some of them, madami din nag message sa akin ng mga audition tips, paano mag-audition. So let's talk about it right now! Yay! <laughs> so the first tip you need to know is of course, you need to know what you're getting into. Dapat alam mo yung pinapasukan mo kasi baka mamaya hindi mo naman pala gusto. <laughs> and of course, di ba, if you know what you're getting into, alam mo kung ano yung mga advantages, disadvantages, ano yung mga magaganda tingnan tuwing nag-audition ka, and mga dapat iwasan. Just know what you're getting into, the culture, the group itself, the mother group. Actually, Kahit hindi mo pa masyado alam yung mother group, it's okay. But, it's gonna be a big advantage sa inyo. Because, you know what to expect. You know how to show yourself. You know how to present yourself well para makita nila ang potential mo as an idol. So, get to know what you're getting into. So, the second tip I can give you is, of course, ang isa sa pinakamahirap, in my opinion. And, hmm... But I think kakayanin natin to if gusto natin. <laughs> so of course, tip number two is maintain your BMI or maintain your weight. Since you aspire to be an idol, may mga requirements talaga na kahit ayaw natin, wala tayong magagawa. <laughs> kahit na gusto natin kumain ng kumain, hindi pa rin pwede. Ano ba ang normal BMI ng isang idol? Actually, dati, 18.5 lang siya, but we're aiming for 18. Pababa. <laughs> Pero not to the point na you are underweight, okay? So, always prioritize your health, but yun nga, since it's our job to maintain our BMI, of course, you need to follow our rules. And BMI is very, very important. Kasi, syempre, ba looks yung isa sa mga puhunan mo. <laughs> Real talk lang. So, ganda na natin. Tip number three might be super cliche, but it's it's the truth. So, tip number three is be yourself. Be yourself. Why? Because baka maramdaman ng mga judge or yung mga nag, um, nagpapa-audition sa'yo. <laughs> Na, baka napipilitan ka lang, baka hindi naman talaga ganyan yung ugali mo, nagpapakitang tao ka lang. So, it's always important to be yourself. It's okay to be more on the jolly side, pero hindi yung to the point na ginagawa mo na yung mga bagay na hindi naman talaga, na hindi mo naman talaga gagawin if hindi ka nag-audition. It's okay to show your energetic side, but not to an extent na magiging exaggerated na siya. Okay? So, always be yourself. Know what your strength and weaknesses. Don't do things or say things na hindi naman talaga toto about you. So, that's it. Good luck. Good luck. Kala mo tapos na. Tip number four is ito super need talaga because it's an audition. So, always prepare your song and dance. Why? Because you're gonna join an idol group and what do you expect? We're gonna sing and dance. So, we need to study our songs or... Kahit hindi songs namin, but of course, plus points yun. Plus points. Plus points. If hindi... Ah, if kanta namin. Kasi mafe-feel nang nagpapa-audition sa'yo na you know the group. You know the songs. And makikita nila kung paano ka magpa-perform ng mismong kanta namin while audition pa lang. So, better to choose our songs for audition piece and... Of course, aralin nyo na rin yung sayaw kahit one or two lang. It's very important. And another thing is, you need to be prepared na makihalubilo sa iba't ibang tao because you're gonna perform as a group, I think. Kasi sa audition process na 
naranasan ko, we needed, we needed to perform as a group after makapasa sa individual auditions. So, do your best. Don't be shy. Kaya niya. <laughs> Tip number five. This one is for foreigners or sa mga half na hindi pa ganun ka alam sa Filipino culture and pagsasalita ng Filipino. So, tip number five, know how to speak Filipino or Tagalog because madami ako nakita ng foreigners na auditioni and hindi sila nakapasa because they don't know how to speak in Tagalog or Filipino and that's very very important because ML48 is a Filipino idol group and syempre, since it's a Filipino idol group, you need to know how to speak Filipino. Of course, advantage na you know how to speak in English but it's also very important to know our language. <laughs> Keep studying. You can do it kahit konyo-konyo lang. Kaya yan. <laughs> okay? You can do it. Okay, so let's move on to tip number six. Oh my gosh, ang bilis ng oras. So tip number six is something very important for me because I don't know because nung nag audition ako, I felt so pressured to find number tip number six, which is kawaii clothes. Oh my gosh, since our mother group is AKB48, so syempre may pagka Japanese style siya. So you need to prepare kawaii clothes or cute clothes na medyo Japanese inspired ang style or fashion. And uh, ayun, wala kasi ako masyado noon. <laughs> so, ko ako sa inyo, lalo na if katulad niyo ako dati na wala masyadong kawaii or cute clothes, prepare some na mga pastel colors na cute, mga skirts, mga tennis skirts ganon, and of course mga accessories. Basta you need to prepare what you're gonna wear, and syempre kung paano mo gustong iportray yung sarili mo. It's okay to not have kawaii clothes, pero parang sa pag sa experience ko, parang nirequire kami na may dala kaming kawaii clothes or yeah, so just prepare, I guess. Wala naman masama sa paghahanda because you're gonna use it and all. Tip number seven. Seven. <laughs> Tip number seven is prepare for an interview. Wag ka masyadong stiff or wag ka masyadong kabahan. Or actually, normal lang kabahan, but try not to let them know that you are super nervous. Just act chill. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Yeah. So yeah, since of course you're in the audition process, you will get interviewed maybe two or three times, one to three times. I don't know. I'm not sure, but yeah, for sure there's an interview part for your audition. Know how to answer the questions politely and how to sell yourself. To the management to let them know why you deserve to be an MNL48 member. So tip number eight na tayo and tip number eight is read the audition form or contract properly as in read it because and don't halos lahat yung mga tips or clues na mga kailangan nilang makita sa yo. So please 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 read it. It's very important then because and yung mga rules. So if may mga tinanong sila about sa'yo na andun naman pala sa contract, syempre, di ba? You need to follow it. You need to you need to know the right answers. Okay? Just please read it. And of course, di ba, it's always good to read your contract because you'll get wiser. You'll know what you're getting into. Tip number one. And of course, it's gonna help you big time. Tip number nine is Always try to socialize or talk to other auditionees because syempre sila ang possible mong makasama sa journey mo as an aspirant and of course until maybe makasama ka sa ML48 and it's very important to build your friendship, the trust ng mas maaga pa, di ba? And syempre it's also an advantage if you if you had the chance to get to know other auditionees kasi you'll know their story, you'll know, you might get possible tips how to be more confident, how to talk properly or gano'n. Or, maka dancer yung nakausap mo, so pwede kang magpaturo sa kanya, magpatulong sa mga 
steps na nalilito ka or baka singer yan na pwedeng magbigay sa'yo ng tips. Always be friendly, always try to know each other well and of course, try to be respectful, never, never, never boast. Kasi, kasi, <laughs> kasi it's very, very important to be humble in this journey and yeah, okay? Always try to be sociable, sociable. Always try to socialize because it's very important. And of course, pang practice na rin siya sa mga future events if makapasok ka sa MNL48 because being an idol means you need to interact with a lot of people, not just fans, co-members, staffs, everyone around you. You need to know how to respect and be polite, okay? Okay! <laughs> Okay, we're down to the last one. Oh my gosh, congratulations, you made it this far. Oh, English. Yeah, but yeah, tip number 10. Tip number 10 is focus on yourself. Why? Of course, you are in an audition. You need to know what you lack, what your strengths. Hindi yung kalaban mo or rival mo because Sabi nga ni Isabel, Emerald 48 Isabel, na ang kakompetensya mo lang ay yung sarili mo. Because if you lose yourself, then that's the end of your journey. You need to know how to fight for yourself. And don't mind your competitions. Kasi they're doing their own best. And you are different from them. You are unique. You are not them. So please, focus on yourself, focus on what you can improve, and focus on how you want your audition to go, okay? Yeah. So that's it, aking mga iniirog and sa mga future auditionists ng ML48. I hope you learned a lot of things and hindi super cliche na mga nabigay kong tips. I think sa lahat ng audition tips na napanood ko, this one's the best. Ay, wow! Ang kapag... <laughs> But yeah, I hope this video helps you a lot. If you're gonna audition sa kahit hindi ML48, I hope this video helped you to know how to present yourself when you are in an audition. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot of things. See you next Sunday. Make me your Oshi and I'll be your Hoshi that can light up your whole world. Bye! Thank you.